Peter Watkins. I'm the author of Teaching Developing Reading Skills, a book about reading uh, published in the Cambridge Handbooks for Language Teachers series. So the first question is why have a book about reading? Uh, well, this goes back to a question that I've asked myself many times over a number of years now, which is do we actually teach reading? Does language teaching material that tends to get used in most classrooms, does it actually teach reading? Does it actually help learners become better readers? Or do we just provide practice in reading? Or even do we just test learners' comprehension of a particular text that we happen to give them? Testing it through um, uses of things like multiple choice questions or true false questions. Uh, question formats that quite often uh, focus on a fairly superficial understanding of the text and often just extracting uh, fairly basic, simplistic, factual information from the text. And I certainly felt that there was a disconnect between what researchers understand about reading and understand about how reading skills are likely to develop and the language teaching material uh, that often gets used. So. What I wanted to do in the book was provide a bridge, a bridge between um, the research and the understanding of reading that we have on the one hand, and what actually gets ha happens in classrooms and gets used in classrooms on the other hand. So I wanted to address questions in the book, uh, such as, well, if we want to provide a more rewarding, more engaging reading experience by moving away from multiple choice questions and true false questions and things like that, if we want to provide something that's more engaging, uh, what sorts of activities would we use? I also wanted to focus on how we can go about making readers actually better uh, through, for example, teaching reading strategies, and therefore I wanted the book to include uh, some activities which actually set about teaching reading strategies. Uh, and things like developing reading fluency. We know that fluency is linked to comprehension. Fluent readers understand more of texts, more of a text than non-fluent readers. And so we need materials, I believe, that actually target and try to develop reading fluency. Uh, we know that extensive reading is a huge benefit, not just to reading skills, but to all kind, it has all kinds of language benefits attached to it. And so I wanted to look at ways in which we could promote extensive reading. Uh, so these were some of the questions that I wanted the book to address in uh, trying to provide a full and engaging uh, reading program. And there were other things that I think get ignored in a lot of language teaching material. Uh, for example, uh, the differences between reading online and reading a hard copy of a text. Do we read them in exactly the same way? Are there different skills that are required for reading online? In the 21st century, it seems to me very important that classroom material addresses those kinds of questions. And uh, in particular in the 21st century, it seems to me there is an ever increasing need uh, to help our learners to become uh, analytical, uh, questioning, critical readers, uh, so that they question what they read and question its truthfulness and usefulness to whatever the reading purpose is. So those were some of the reasons for wanting to write the book. Um, I'd like to thank everyone at Cambridge University Press who have supported the process and actually made it happen. And above all, what I wanted to do was provide teachers uh, with some really practical classroom activities. I wanted the book to draw on research and draw on theory, but to translate into activities teachers felt they could use that appealed, if you like, to a teacher's sense of plausibility. that They could look at the activity and whether they were teaching young learners or business students, or whether they were teaching big classes or small classes, or whether they were teaching monolingual classes or multilingual classes, that whoever, whatever learners they were teaching, they would find something in the book that they felt would be useful in their day-to-day -day practice. So uh, that's what I've set out to do in the book. Uh, I really hope that the teachers who use the book uh, enjoy it and find it useful. And thank you very much for listening. <laughs>